drop down dew from above you heavens, and let the clouds bring down the just one. Let the earth be opened and bring forth the Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Our brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who fulfilling the promise made to our fathers, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary to become the mother of the Savior, grant that we may follow her example, for her humility was pleasing to you, and her obedience profitable to us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. In those days, like a fire, there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as a flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered, in his zeal he reduced them to straits. By the Lord's word he shut up the heavens and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds, whose glory is equal to yours. You were taken aloft in a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in time to come, to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord to turn back the hearts of fathers towards their sons, and to reestablish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen you and who falls asleep in your friendship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim shine forth. Rouse your power. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine, and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself make strong. Lord, May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As they were coming down from the mountain, the disciples asked Jesus, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He said in reply, Elijah will indeed come and restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come. And they did not recognize him, but did to him whatever they pleased. So also will the Son of Man suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them of John the Baptist. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
both Elijah and John the Baptist are kind of a Christ figure. They both are preparing the way of the Lord. And part of that preparation requires going into the desert. It requires confronting evil. Uh, it includes persecution. And, of course, for John the Baptist, it would include martyrdom. And so John the Baptist going into the desert also represents us because what he is going there for in order to lead and prepare the way of the Lord for the people of Israel, he is also doing for himself. Jesus is also his redeemer, his savior as well. And so to go into the desert, as you've heard many times, is to um, go to a place of danger, a place where we have to um, really kind of strip away from ourselves uh, all the things that are really keeping us back, keeping us from being truly alive. It is a place of repentance where we empty ourselves of all of this stuff uh, that we have willfully chosen in our lives that is contrary to the love of God, sin. And so we have to confront the sin and give it to God ultimately, recognizing that he is the only one that can take away our sins. And so John leads by example, leading us into the desert, and there is no way that any of us who are preparing to receive Christ can do so without repentance. It just can't happen. Because just as Mary herself is chosen as this woman who is full of grace, to allow God to become incarnate in her own womb, in order for us to receive Christ into our own bodies and souls, we too must be prepared so that we, full of grace, through repentance, the confession of sins, can receive him. This is why when we have committed a mortal sin, we must first go to confession before we receive the Eucharist, otherwise we commit a sacrilege. This is something that many, many Catholics have somehow forgotten. So serious sin, where there's a mortal sin, where there is grave matter, sufficient reflection, and full consent of the will, these are the three elements that make a sin a mortal sin, must first be confessed before we can approach the altar and receive Christ into our own bodies. So we must be full of grace, if you will, um, free from sin in order to receive Christ because he's God and we are not. He is a creator and we are mere creatures. And so John the Baptist shows us what to do by doing for himself first what we must do. And so we also must be examples in that same way to others going into the desert being willing to uh, have a spirit of repentance, a confidence in the sacrament of confession, going off it, particularly if there is mortal sin involved, so that we can be restored to God's grace, receive him into our bodies in the Holy Eucharist, and be the faithful disciples like John the Baptist who also call others to repentance and fullness of life in Christ Jesus in the Eucharist. It doesn't happen easily. It requires perseverance, faith, and of course that humility that allows us to approach the sacrament of penance with complete confidence that our sins are left there, we're restored to God's grace, and re restored to a true joy that only God's grace can give us. As we celebrate this Eucharist and continue our Advent season in preparation for the coming of Christ at Christmas, we ask that we may have every grace that we need to approach our Lord in the desert of the confessional so that we may re be restored and uh, come alive in faith in Christ Jesus our Lord. May his peace be with you. With hearts filled with the same faith of John the Baptist, we now turn to our Heavenly Father with all of our needs. For those in the church entrusted with the spiritual care of others, 
May God grant them wisdom and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lawmakers, may God's Holy Spirit be with them in their work, protecting the dignity of all human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those experiencing loneliness or grief, may Jesus sustain them and grant them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God continue to bless our efforts in sharing the good news let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may God's mercy enfold them and bring them to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, Barbara Young, Edward Zamarski, Patrick Zampetti, and all those on our prayer list, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions of Megan Flynn, for, who, for which this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of your intentions you bring to the altar this morning. For all those whom we have promised to pray, for the needs of our families, our friends, and our nation, we pray to the Lord. Almighty God and Father, we ask you now to hear and answer these petitions we faithfully bring to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, Come, our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good all of the Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, these offerings, and by your power change them into the sacrament of salvation, in which fulfilling the sacrifices of the fathers is offered the true Lamb, Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the ever Virgin Mary, in a way beyond all telling, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, say, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord our God, always show forth your mercy in us, that we who commemorate in faith the mother of your Son may be saved by his incarnation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks to God. Prayer to St. Andrew's Christmas Novena. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, God save, O my God, hear my prayer and grant my desires. Through the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and our Blessed Mother, Say, Michael the Archangel, 